hey guys I have the same problem on my system what you have to do I will be doing in front of you to fix this issue so in the first step right click here select task manager you need to right click on the task bar and select task manager then click on run new task now select browse button and on this window we need to select this PC then open C drive then we need to find out windows folder so double click on it to open it then find out system32 folder again open it then find out cmd file just scroll down and here it is this is the application we need to select it and click on open now check this box to create this task with administrative privileges after that click on ok and on this window we need to execute some commands so type all these commands carefully and hit enter to execute them first of all type in netsh winsock reset and hit enter then okay it's just a uh, no typing mistake we need to type in good manner in ETSH winstock R E S E T reset and hit enter once done we need to type in NETSH INTIP reset reset log dot txt and hit enter okay uh, so type exit to close the command prompt window then simply go to search bar type in services and click here to open it once we are here we need to find out the two services the first one is windows update so just scroll down and right click on it select properties then we need to set up set the startup type as automatic and start the service then click on apply and then ok after that we need to find out the wlan auto config so here it is again right click on it select properties and set startup type as manual automatic then click on start after that click on apply and then ok once done we need to close this window and simply right click here select device manager this is the last step to fix this issue simply expand the network adapters so here it is expand it and the right click on the particular driver select properties go to drivers tab and click on update drivers then click on search automatically for drivers this will update the latest driver and close this window after that we need to just restart the system and your problem will be solved that's it guys don't forget to like the video and please do subscribe the channel